What is up, Hammerheads? Welcome back to The Forge. Today, we're going to be forging a cross. But before we do that, a word from our sponsor. All right, thanks again to the Knife Shop and Survival Outpost for always being a sponsor of the channel. So guys, today we're forging across. I'm gonna talk just a quick second before we get going. Um, the cross itself is one of the easiest projects to do as a demo while you're out. You just have to prep beforehand. And as you'll see in the video, you know we're having to cut the steel, but if you have five or six of these prepped, you know, you're just sitting out doing a demo, doing something easy, not killing yourself. And people think these are awesome when they're being made because it's kind of like a magic trick happening. You're starting with a piece of square bar, square bar and it unfolds into this cross. So with that being said, guys, uh, let's get some metal hot and start making a cross. Okay guys, so when you're cutting your bar for your cross, you're going to cut like two-thirds of the way down, roughly, and then flip your material over and turn it 90 degrees so your lines, and then you'll cut until your lines meet, and then go just a little past, so it's the third and a little further over, you see a little better right here. Now remember, if you don't have a, you know, a bandsaw or anything, you can do this with a hacksaw. And then just cut off what will be the top of the cross. If you don't have a hardy tool yet for your anvil, you can use a chisel or just, you know, two pairs of tongs and just start pulling it apart a little bit to get that gap and then use the edge of the anvil to open it up and that's all you're going to do guys is you're just going to unfold this open up the other side guys it's that simple start making the shape that you're wanting it to look like.
guys, let's get real for a minute and talk about what you learned today. As you've seen, crosses are a very quick process once you start forging them out. Uh, one of the things I really want to talk about is when you're cutting out your cross, really pay attention. I'm going to show, but really pay attention to that you do that turnaround and you turn it 90 degrees so you don't cut your metal in half. I've almost done that before, not paying attention. I cut, turned my metal over, and just started cutting again and looked down and had already cut, started cutting just to cut my metal in half. I was able to salvage it and it turned out pretty cool, but just pay attention to whenever you're doing those cuts. And remember, you're cutting about two thirds of the way on the long side and the other quarter, little over a quarter of the way, uh, the other direction. Just make sure that your lines will meet um, so you get the little star or what I've done before is take a file and filed that out and made an extra, made another little cross on the inside. Um, you will have mess ups, guys. Let me show you a couple of my fails. There's that one. It just didn't turn out, right? And then there's this one that I tried my best to save. And I probably can finagle it around and do some stuff to make it work. I wasn't using uh, a saw to cut it. I actually used I actually used a um, angle grinder because I didn't have the saw at the time. And I was trying to get a bunch of these made up fast. You can use a hacksaw to cut this out. It just takes a lot longer. Um, and 3 8 material makes really good cross necklace materials um, because you can... Even if it's a little big, you can kind of cut it down and it stays small enough that it makes a really nice necklace. Another thing that I like to do with these for craft fairs, the ones that I already have pre-made, is right here in the center, I like taking uh, some epoxy, like what they, the resin, like what they use for jewelry making, and you put uh, tape on the back. I think, yeah, the one that my wife has that she does for her jewelry making is has a UV light to harden it fast. But what I'll do is put the resin in there and then I put a mustard seed in it. And, you know, faith of a grain of mustard seed. But yeah, guys, um, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. A very quick project. A lot of fun. And like I was saying in the beginning, these are great for craft fairs um, or any festivals that you'll be setting up at because it's a really neat project. People are like, oh, wow, how's that going to turn into a cross? And then it does. And they're like, oh, my goodness, that's amazing. Um, price point on these generally if I'm making it into a necklace and I've done more work polishing and cleaning I sell them for anywhere from like 10 and up uh, Like just the basic cross itself. I'll sell for like 10 or 15 bucks. If it's a necklace I sell it for like 20 uh, it just depends um, But you know price your price your items What you think they're worth what you feel they're worth remember your times involved if you can always drop your price, you can. it's really hard to raise your price back up once you've dropped it. So always remember that, guys. If for some reason you don't see them selling, drop it down a little bit. It's okay to do that. And then if you see them selling really good at that price point, keep it at that price point for a while. So, but guys, that's the video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. God bless. Keep hammering.